What's going on, family? You're welding coach Black Phoenix checking in, and today I wanted to talk to you just briefly about how to read a tape measure. When you're learning how to weld and you're jumping into the construction or the fabrication shop, nine times out of 10, they're gonna require you to have one of these and require you to know how to use them. When you're cutting your pieces and your parts, you don't want one of your foremen to say, hey, go and cut this piece two feet and they come over there and get it from you and he got these little bit of pieces. He's like, man, what is this? He said, you told me to cut it two feet. He said, man, that ain't two feet, that's two inches. <laughs> it's a completely different ball game. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I have seen it several times in the field. So I wanna break it down real easy and simple to you. Uh, as you go over it several times, you're gonna gain more practice and you'll start understanding the concept. But we wanna break it down in an inch. Cause I believe if you can learn how to read it from an inch, you can read the whole tape measure family. You can read from one inch to 10 foot to 30 feet to whatever, but you gotta start within that inch. And you wanna know how to read it within an inch. And then it'll multiply and it'll duplicate itself. And you know, it'll be, it'll be pretty much um, uh, second nature to you. But you wanna remember a few different things I wanna point out to you. In an inch, you got 16 sixteenths. So it's 16 sixteenths in an inch. And then you got eight eighths in an inch. And then you have four quarters in an inch. And you have two halves in an inch that makes up one inch. So keep that in mind when you're learning. Everything is going to be repetitive. So you start off, you have one sixteenth, then you have one eighth, then you have three sixteenths. Then you have one quarter, then five sixteenths, three eighths, seven sixteenths, a half, nine sixteenths, five eighths, eleven sixteenths, three quarters, thirteen sixteenths, seven eighths, fifteen sixteenths, an inch. So if you would think of it as a pie in a hole, say you have 16 pieces in your one inch pie, and every time you take a piece out, it ends up getting smaller and smaller. Now on a rule of thumb, majority of the time you're gonna be working within eighths to quarters. And then some things you'll see, I have a 16th, especially when you're doing with standard things, like if you were making some, some parts. Normally they'll have you cut, it might be something that might be three foot and seven eighths. Or we need these pieces uh, a half an inch long, you know to be able to slide them into this certain piece you're gonna be welding. So there's a lot of different ways to gain the concept, but I'm gonna say this, learn it in quarters, learn it in sixteenths, learn it in eighths. And that way you can be able to get it a whole lot better. But you wanna go over it repetitiously. You wanna keep going and keep going and keep going until you actually get it. Now it don't take that long, but I would say once you write this out, write it out yourself, it's good to write it out and say it out loud to yourself and then Actually, just work on a couple problems. Get your tape measure out there, and get it out here, and just set it up and say, you know what, okay. I'm just gonna say, okay, what is this? Uh, we got one foot, 11 inches, and an eighth. One foot, 11 and an eighth. And a lot of times you uh, meet different standards like that when you're building and fabricating. Or when you're repairing certain things. Certain things when you're repairing, you're, you might not have a, a standard quarter, it might be three eighths that you need to slide in there. It might be nine sixteenths instead of a half. So it all depends on what you're working on. But the easiest way to learn how to read a tape measure is to learn it in the sixteenths. Learn it from an inch, just that inch. If you can get that inch down, you can read the whole tape measure family, like literally. So don't get overwhelmed, don't get frustrated. But if you're gonna be a good welder, I would say learn how to read a tape measure. Get you a tape measure. Uh, they got different ones now, they call them cheater tape measures. They even have it in between it that'll say 16ths, 3 sixteenths, 5 eighths. Now mine don't have that, but you do have ones where you can get the cheater to actually learn it. But the more you do it over time, family, you'll start gravitating to it more and you'll get the concept. But you have to practice. And like I say, I just want to repeat this. It's 16 sixteenths in, a, in an inch. It's 8 eighths. It's four quarters, it's two halves. 
So just keep that in mind. When you're thinking of it like that, fam, it's easier to break down. It's easier to remember. So just wanted to go live, give y'all some updates on how to read a tape measure when you're becoming a welder and a fabricator. Y'all be blessed. I'm out. Hog on.